My great-grandfather, Simon, was a reporter for the Bristol Snoop, a newspaper of questionable integrity. May I help you? You George Mueller? Indeed. Simon, Bristol Snoop. Is it true you're running a school for alien dolphins? What? If my sources are correct, this would be startling news. On par with a turkey born with the head of a cat. What? So you're not denying the fact that you're training extraterrestrial porpoises for less than ideal purposes. I'm considered among my peers to be a genius with a headline. Look, uh, Mr. Simon, is it? We have no dolphins. This is a home for orphans. We look after children who have no parents. Oh, so it's possible their parents are dolphins. What? I mean, you never know. Good night, Mr. Um, Mr. Mueller? Oh, uh, he hello, Emily. Are you going to play the piano? Why, certainly, Emily. I'll be there moment Is that a turkey with the head of a cat? Why, yes, it is. That's pretty strange. You know, I thought so myself. Emily, dear, I was just seeing Mr. Simon off. Go ahead and start. I'll be right there. She's adorable. She is indeed. Has a good eye for news. Yes, I suppose she does. Is there anything else, Mr. Simon? Ah, uh, no. Not if you're sure there's nothing extraordinary going on here. Well, there's plenty extraordinary going on here, Mr. Simon, but I'm not sure it's the sort of thing your paper would be interested in. Good night, Mr. Simon. Good night. I sing because I'm happy. Wonderful, Johnny. I sing because I'm free. For his eye is on the sparrow. And I know he watches me. Aha! I knew it! That's the first sign of a cover-up, speaking in codes. And I is watching, who is Sparrow? Special forces? Covert ops? Oh, there's no conspiracy, Mr. Simon. We're singing a song about God providing for us. God even looks after the sparrows, so we can trust him to look after us. Oh. We believe God called us to start this orphanage with nothing. All you see here has been provided by God through our prayers and trust in him. And I imagine by asking people for lots of donations. Oh, there's nothing wrong with asking for donations, but we've never asked anyone for anything. Never asked anyone for anything? That's right. I felt God wanted me to demonstrate how he could meet our needs without anyone even knowing. So we never asked anyone for anything. Wow, what a wacky way to start out. I bet you're glad that phase is over, huh? Things seem to be humming along now. Oh. George? Hello, dear. We're out of food again. Really? Oh, we have nothing to feed the children for breakfast tomorrow morning? Nothing at all. Not a crumb. Well, we'll have to handle it like we always do. So, how do you handle this? We pray. Pray? You can't just assume breakfast is gonna fall out of the sky. Think about these kids. God will meet our needs. If you like, you may join us for breakfast and see for yourself. Good night, Mr. Simon. Uh, good night, Mr. Mueller. Poor oh, kids. Good morning, Mr. Simon. Good morning, Emily. I brought you something. Gee, thanks. These are dangerous times. Uh-huh. Mr. Simon, so good of you to come. Uh, do come in. Uh, this could be an interesting story. Uh, besides, I'm really hoping those kids get something to eat. Uh, children, we must be on time for school. Are you hungry? Yes, yes sir. sir. So, where's the food? Mary, do we have anything to give them? So what do we do, children? We, we pray. Dear Father in heaven, we thank thee for what thou art going to give us to eat. Amen. Look, maybe I can run out and... Uh, uh Mr. Mueller? I, I couldn't sleep last night. Somehow I felt you didn't have bread for breakfast, and the Lord wanted me to send you some. So I got up at 2 a.m. And, and baked some fresh bread. <gasps> oh, thank you so much. You're an answer to prayer. And a speedy one at that. I'm a bit thirsty, sir. Uh, excuse me. My, uh, milk cart just broke down. 
Mind if I unload some milk so I can fix my wagon? You can have all you want. Have some milk, children. Yeah. Oh, yes, please. I'll take some milk. And this same God who takes care of me can supply all your needs from his glorious riches which have been given to us in Christ Jesus. That's Philippians 4, 19, I believe. You can use it in your story if you'd like. Now, Great Grandpa Simon reported some big stories in his day, but this by far was the biggest. And the only one up to that point, I might add, that was independently verifiable. <laughs> that means it was true. And George Mueller would go on to receive money and food to build many more orphanages and help thousands of kids, all without ever asking anyone for anything. He just trusted God to meet their needs every single day. And every single day, God did. And I know he watches me. The end. That was real nice. It was touching yet lighthearted. I was moved. True story, was it? True story. See? I think George Mueller should have prayed for a high-def TV. I'm pretty sure George Mueller knew the difference between a need and a want. Yeah, I could see that. Well, Rachel, I hope that helps you out. That's all the time we have for today. Uh, 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 uh hold, hold on. I think it's a little too early to call it quits. Huh? I told the story. Yeah, but it was kind of short. If this were a regular show, we'd do a silly song and then tell another story. Well, this really isn't a regular show, per se. Hey, well, why don't you do the silly song? That's right up your alley. Yeah, but I'm just like a pirate. Well, then do a pirate silly song. Been done, remember? Oh, yeah, did that already. Philippe, the time has come. Mais oui, Jean-Claude, at last. We have written a silly song. And I've been waiting for just the right moment to bring it out. And the moment has arrived. Oh, oh thank right. you. Yeah. Now we got a show. Oh, here no. it is. Wait, it's not in French, is it? The language of love? Sadly, no. The song is not for us to sing. Uh, well, who else can sing around here? And now it's time for Ukulele Karaoke with Bob, the part of the show where Bob comes out and sings an Ukulele Karaoke. Uh, what's going on? You are doing the ukulele karaoke, no? No, I'm on a break. Uh, this is the pirates. They are busy with the rest of the show. But I, I, I don't even know the song. Your lyrics, monsieur. Bring in the props. Uh, but wait, I... I think... You're out of breeze, monsieur. Hold on a sec. I'm totally unprepared to do a solo. Your backup singers. What? Isn't that the... Oui. They are the Wiggly Turtle Tubies. The Wiggly Turtle Tubies? They look taller on TV. So do you, Tomato! Uh, but really, this is Larry's gig. I can't just... This show must go on, monsieur. Quick, that is your cue. Just follow along, you will be fine. Right. Let's that turtle, aloha lands. Let's that turtle, dance, dance, dance. Let's that turtle, aloha lands. Lance and Turtle, dance, dance, dance. Well, I keep a little turtle at my uncle and my aunt's. My Annie's name is Myrtle and my island turtle's name is Lance. He doesn't wander far, even if he has a chance. He just plays his ukulele and he does the hula dance. What? Lance and Turtle, aloha Lance. Lance and Turtle, dance, dance, dance. Lance and Turtle, aloha Lance. Lance and Turtle, dance, dance, dance. He threw a luau barbecue one breezy summer night. Invited all his turtle pals to come and have a weeky bite. The turtle started walking there as Lance began to swing. The one that lived across the street arrived there in the spring. Oh, I get it. Turtles are slow. <laughs> so I took him a long time. <laughs> That's pretty good. Lance and Turtle, aloha Lance. Lance and Turtle, dance, dance, dance. But Lance just kept on cooking. He was grilling full of glee. He was marinating ribs because he likes <gasps> uh, syrup with his feta cheese. Uh, I'm sorry, I. 
Lance's purple turtle shell has ketchup, if you please. Pineapples are shiny, spotted tiki bumblebees. Oh, man. Lance and turtle. Aloha, Lance. Lance and turtle. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Hey, guys, I don't think this is right. It doesn't make any sense. It was for us. <laughs> but the song, the song. Uh, there are luscious chocolate fingers spinning slowly in the school. Malay Kalikimaka. Fluffy bunnies driving in the pool. <laughs> Larry. A thousand igloos wax the beach, spray luggage in the tree, raining puppies, flying clown, flossing Puna Hale. Ow! Oh, forget it. Woohoo! La Paga Sneezy's coconuts, Tahiti Yo Yo Leg, White Meanie Whiskey Teddy Sauce, the Megs of Fuzzy Parrot Bag, Paper Plastic Porcupine, the horsey makes his bed, the Huma Huma Nuka Nuka Awa I wasn't fed. Lance and Turtle. Hello, Lance. This has been Ukulele Karaoke with Bob. Tune in next time when Bob says... I'll be in my dressing room. Dance, dance, dance. Welcome back to the big event. The victory parade for Gideon. And what an event it is. The music, the floats, the spectacle. It's all here to celebrate one thing. Gideon's extraordinary military victory over the previously undefeated, excessively hairy Midianites. He, he's coming. Yes, the man of the hour, riding on a tube of floats covered with 10,000 roses. The red ones were shipped in from Jerusalem, the white from Bethlehem, and the purple roses came from Cairo. That's a lot of flowers. Indeed it is, but that's a lot of hero. Yes, Gideon, a man who overcame his complete lack of military experience to become not only the hero of the day, but perhaps the greatest Hebrew warrior of all time. I wish I was him. This is a man who laughs at danger, who doesn't know the meaning of the word fear. This is a man who single-handedly defeated an army of more than 30,000 enemy troops. Wait, stop, stop the parade. I'm sorry, what you're saying is nice and all, but that's just not the way it was. This is how it really happened. I was minding my own business, practicing my latest marching band moves, when my life was changed forever. Gideon! Hey, pipsqueak! Do you mind? Nope, don't mind at all. You guys work on the football, and I'll practice my part in the marching band. We're all on the same team. Yeah, and the game's back on. The drums would be over here going rat a tat tat. And the horns would be over here going doo doodly doo. And then I jump up with my tuba going. Hey! Ha ha! Yeah, that's real funny, guys. You want to come and get your ball? <laughs> What did you say? Hail, mighty man of valor. Oh, yeah, you must be looking for my brothers. Nope, I'm looking for you. I'm an angel. The angels, huh? Well, I'm a warrior. Maybe we'll play your team this year. No, 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 no. I'm a real angel, sent from the Lord above with a message. The Lord, Lord? The same. Huh, pretty cool. <clears throat> now, human. Uh, that'd be you. It is perfectly normal for you to be terrified and confused. Having an angel appear before you is not exactly an everyday occurrence. Heh, heh, heh. Why'd you laugh like that? It says here I'm supposed to make you feel comfortable. Uh, take a load off. This may take a while. Okie dokie. I am sure you have many questions for me. No, not really. And while there are many things I can do to prove I come from the Almighty, I must note that I can do nothing without God's approval. 
However, he will allow me to show you a small sample of his splendor, e.g. answers to personal questions, minor miracles, appearing and or disappearing at will. Did you just say e.g.? Yeah, it means for example. Well, then why didn't you just say for example? Because this says e.g. Okay. Frightened human, what kind of sign do you need to prove I am from he who is above all things? Nothing, I already believe you. Really? Because I got at least five more pages here. No, I'm good. You don't need me to fly around? Well, you can if it makes you feel better. Uh, to be honest, I just flew all the way from heaven. I'm a little winded. Then relax. Can I get you something cold to drink? Oh, a lemonade would be fine. Here you go. Thanks. You have no idea what a relief your reaction is. Folks usually freak out, and I end up spending the first week just trying to calm them down. That must get real tiring. You don't know the half of it. You don't need any proof at all? Nope. If you say you're from God, I believe you. Because I got credentials. Check this out. Cool. Can I get one of those? Well, we don't give these out to just anyone, but I'll see what I can do. So, Mr. Angel, what's your message? Here's the skinny. I've been sent from the Lord above to tell you that you have been chosen to lead Israel's army against a ferocious enemy that is even now at your doorstep. Wait, I've been chosen to lead an army? I think there's been a mistake. You're a warrior, aren't you? This? Oh, no, my, my brothers are the real warriors. I'm just the guy you call when you want a victory parade after the battle. I'll go get them. <laughs> God hasn't chosen them. He wants you. But I'm not trained in weapons of war. I'm trained on the tuba. How many wars have ever been won by marching information? You'd be surprised. My brothers are bigger and stronger. He wants you. I'm afraid of the dark. To tell you the truth, so am I. I scream like a girl. Put me in the dark and I do too. He still wants you. Sorry, I just can't do it. You trust that I'm an angel. You trust that I was sent from God. So what's the big problem with doing what he says? I thought you were coming to give me a pep talk. A little well done, good and faithful servant. But this is way out of my league. If you want to hear the Lord say well done, then you'll have to do what he asks. You're absolutely sure that God has chosen me? Yep. He wants you to defeat the invading Midianites. Well, how many Midianites are we talking about here? That's it? One guy? No problem. When do we start? <laughs> Hold that thought. Take a gander. <laughs> well, it's been nice talking to you. That's beginning to get irritating. Well? Well what? I'm not fighting them. There's no way I can defeat an army that large. It's not your job to defeat them. It's God's. It's your job to trust that he'll do what he says. I'm sorry, but you've just got the wrong guy. God never chooses the wrong guy. Well, this time he made a mistake. God never makes mistakes. Not once? Not one single mistake in all of recorded history? Never! Though, as far as I'm concerned, the jury's still out on spiders. <laughs> Understand, I'm not saying I'll do it. But if I did, I'd need a sign first. A sign? I've got to know absolutely, positively, beyond a shadow of a doubt that God is in this. Me, you believe. But from God, you need a sign? Oh, hit it, boys. Trust that God exists. Just open up your eyes. He did it all with no assist. Don't tell me you're surprised. He made the stars. There's no doubt. Sun and moon. Got a shout. The universe. Inside out. Do not doubt he's real, my friend. Just because he can't be seen. Like the breeze blowing through the trees, he's working in a frame. Solar system's kinda big, but it fits inside his hand. He 
cares for you, and so it's true. You can trust the great I am. Say what? You can trust the great I am. So what'll it be, Gideon? What kind of a sign do you need before you'll trust God? Do you want time to go backwards? Mountains to fall down? Talking vegetables to tell Bible stories? No, I'm thinking I'll lay out a small piece of lamb's wool on the ground. Then, tomorrow morning, if the wool is wet, but the ground around it is dry, I'll know God is in there. Crazy man! The world insists that God exists. He's everywhere you look. The rocks cry out, the heavens shout. It's saving in his book. He made the seas. Yes, sir. All the trees. Oak and bird. The birds and bees. We concur. He helped your father, Abraham, and Isaac, Jacob, too. Ooh. From Jericho to Bethlehem, and now he's helping you. <laughs> He'll keep on helping those he calls the Paul to Billy Graham. So step right up and join the cause. You, you can, can trust, trust the great I am. Okay. Put your faith in the great I am. Gideon, now do you trust that God will do what he says he's going to do? Yes, absolutely. After just one more test. The Midianites are attacking in just two more days. That's why I'm only asking for one more test. This time, make the fleece dry, but everything around it be wet. Crazy man! People always want a test. Yeah, they always want a sign. It's good that God's got patience, man, cause you're sure testing mine. He makes sky, and ocean blue, the desert dry, those islands too. You can't lie, you know it's true. I'm talking about the great I am. He's talking about the great I am. Don't doubt, turn to the shell, I'll figure out what it's all about. And a stew, here's what to do. God's a friend through thick and thin. You're safe in Make my point. Oh! Hey, what's the big idea? Is it dry? Is, is what dry? The, the fleece? Oh, hey, it is! Crazy man! The fleece is dry, but the ground is soaking wet. It's amazing! It's a miracle! Hey, guess what? God has chosen me! You don't say. He wants me to lead the troops to victory over the invading horde. As I live and breathe. So let's get going. And just in the nick of time. Say, where do we pick up our troops? So, uh... Join God's army. Get a free flashlight. Here you go. Here you go. Batteries included. There you go. Have another one. Here's one for you. <laughs> <laughs> Men, I want to thank each of you for joining our army. Uh, a little help, please. please. <gasps> We have a very big job to do, but together and with God's help, I'm sure we'll be victorious. <laughs> You've got to be kidding. <sighs> All right, here's the
here's the thing. Evidently, there's too many of us. So, whoever doesn't want to be here, you're sure about this? Okay. Whoever doesn't want to be here can go home. Can we keep the flashlights? Yes, you can keep the flashlights. Here we go. I'm at home. My flashlight, I get to keep it. All right then. We're now a smaller but still mighty crew. And I'm sure that with God's help, we'll be. <laughs> what? I said they put it me. You gotta be kidding me. All right. Everyone take five and have a slushie. So this is a test too, I don't get it. There are still too many. But we're outnumbered by more than 10 to one. Yeah, point. Well, shouldn't we at least tell them that this is another test? No, and that's the point of this particular test. But how's drinking a slushie gonna show us who should or shouldn't be in God's army? <laughs> ah, brain freeze! <laughs> Ow! Ow! <laughs> Oh, okay, I get it. Oh. All right, men. Tonight, we go to battle. Not to cause problems, but uh, do we get any weapons? You've already got them. We will defeat the Midianites with our horns and flashlights. Flashlights? Oh. <laughs> Okay, we'll split up into three different groups and surround the enemy here, here, and here. Now, bring the enemy's troops in. Uh, uh. Sure are a lot of them, aren't there? That's just what I was thinking. You doing okay? Me? Sure. Okay, just checking. Did you ever have a hard time trusting God? Oh, me? No. I see him every day. <laughs> I know how glorious he is. I know he never breaks his promise. I also know how much he loves you, as he told me. Thanks. You know what I think? I think you're doing great. It's easy for an angel to trust God, but you have faith in something you've never even seen. I admire that. Trust him, Gideon. He'll never let you down. Hey, God, it's me. You and I both know I can't do this on my own. But you can. And that's good enough for me. I pray you'll be with us tonight and that your will be done. That's it, I guess. Oh, one more thing. You could have chosen anybody, but you chose me. Thanks. I'm in. Welcome back to WMID. Music for the attacking hordes. Uh, yes, hello. I'd like to request uh, Samson's bringing down the house. I'm telling you, it was the strangest dream. Somehow we were totally defeated by the Hebrew army. I mean, wiped out. Yeah, right. Like that's ever gonna happen. <laughs> yeah. Crazy, huh? Yeah, it's the craziest thing I've ever heard. Uh, nobody can beat us, can they? I didn't need another sign, God, but thanks. Men, this is it. The Lord has delivered the enemy into our hands. He will do the work. All we have to do is trust him that he'll do what he says. Are you with me? Yes, yes sir! I want three groups around the rim of the valley. Wait for my signal. You men come with me. You go to the south end, and so we don't split the peas, you go up the middle. Did he just make a split pea joke? Huh? Huh? What's it? 
That's not true. God chose me for this time and this place. All I did was trust him that he'd do what he said. And he did. Good job, Gideon. Uh, here, I got you a little something. Hail, mighty man of valor. I'll treasure it always. And I know just where I'll keep it. In my nightstand. Right next to my bed. And that's how it really happened. And there you have it. Today's parade is celebrating Gideon, perhaps the most humble soldier in Israel's history. A man who learned how to trust God. Indeed he did. And when we trust God and put aside our fears... That's when we're victorious, too. I couldn't have said it better myself. 